Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in the series of pattern printing, this is the next pattern that we are going to print today. Now in case if you are new to my channel, please go and see the previous video so that all the code that I have written already becomes clear to you and you have a better understanding for this code. Now let's start with this code. Over here, we can see that for both the halves, the top half and the bottom half, first we have to print some spaces and then we have to print some characters. So for both the parts, we will have print. We first will print some spaces and then we will be printing some characters, which is star over here. Now, as you can see, I have divided the first half and the bottom half and the second half into two parts this is because when we divide this we get a better understanding of the pic of the uh, of the pattern because if we look at each each part individually you can see that we have already written a code for these parts so over here we have we can write another print command which will print stars for the second half it is not necessary to write it uh, in a different line but just for your better understanding i am writing it separately now first let's see how many spaces are to be printed for the first row we have to print zero spaces for the second row we have to print one space for the third row we need two spaces fourth row has three spaces fifth row has four spaces and sixth row have five spaces so clearly we can see that for for the top half the number of spaces being printed is equivalent to the current row number minus one so here we will be having i minus one now let's see for the bottom half for the seventh row we have four spaces eighth row has three space ninth has two tenth has one and 11th has 0. Now if we observe clearly the sum of these two comes to be 11 which is equivalent to the total number of rows we have. So from this we can conclude that the number of spaces being printed in the bottom half is equal to n minus i. See all further let's take it for 8th row in 8th row n is 11 i is 8 11 minus 8 is 3. So, 3 number of spaces are being printed. Now, let's see how many characters that is our stars are to be printed. Coming to stars, we can, we, can, we can observe a common pattern between the first half and the second half. I would like you to pause the video and first think it by yourself. I guess you must have guessed it right. The number of stars being printed in the second half is equivalent to 1 minus the number of stars being printed in the left part. So we just have to calculate how many stars are to be printed in the first half and the number of stars being printed in the second half is just 1 less than the number of stars being printed in the uh, first half. So let's see first for the top half. First row has 6 stars. Second has five, third has four, fourth has three, fifth has two, and sixth has one. Now, if you observe carefully, the sum of these two comes to be seven, which is which is equivalent to our mid plus one. From here, we can see uh, that the total number of stars being printed is equivalent to mid plus 1 minus the current current row number so over here we will have mid plus 1 minus the current row number and as we know this will have one star less so over here we will have mid minus our current row number now let's see for the bottom half for the seventh row we have two stars 8th has 3, 9th has 4, 10th has 5 and 11th has 6. Now if we observe carefully the difference between these two 
comes out to be 5 which is I'll admit minus 1. So here we can conclude that the total number of stars being printed in the first half of the bottom half is the number the current row number minus mid minus 1. So over here we will be having our current row number minus mid minus 1. And since we know that this will have 1 less than the previous one, so it will have 1 minus mid. So let's see if the code works. See our code is working absolutely properly. Now let's check it for some higher values. Let's say 17. See our code is working properly. So this was all for today's video. In case you have any doubts, please leave a comment down below. And if you want me to solve some particular questions, leave the questions in the comment with the hashtag code my question. And if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Also, I am, uh, I am leaving the link uh, of my GitHub handle in the description. I, I will upload all these codes over there. You can go and see the codes over there as well. Thank you.